Hey besties. Okay, so I really wanted to try to do the copycat cash challenge again. And I don't know, I was less strict this time, <laughs> but it's also the challenge that I basically made up. So, you know, I kind of have a bit more like free reign when it comes to making decisions. But essentially you start off with two identical twins and you basically make them look different through their different aesthetics and their different like styles but their color schemes are the same and i was much more strict the first time i made it like a rule that like i couldn't use the same makeup or like the same things like, i had to look for things that were as similar as possible but not the exact same but i kind of relaxed that rule just to make it easier for myself because <laughs> sometimes it's just like really good lip gloss and i want to use it for both but like in similar colors or even like the same color you know like i think that was a little much but as far as like clothing items go like i kept everything in terms of rule set the same so it has to be like the same type of thing like if it's a jacket on one it has to be a jacket on the other in like as similar a color as i could possibly find and so the two aesthetics that we're working with today are rebel academia and pastel goth and i'd never heard of rebel academia before but I was a little bit familiar with Pastel Goth because I made a sim like that <laughs> before. And so like I kind of knew what to go for, but I was also a little unsure. And from what I could garner from Pinterest, Rebel Academia is like a slightly more edgy version of like Dark Academia. Which is very funny that it exists because I would have never thought about that. But I'm sure there's somebody <laughs> that did and I, you know, I really tried. I think it was a little difficult because I don't really feel like edgy and dark academia go together because that style, like dark academia is more like proper <laughs> and obviously edgy is like not that. <laughs> so it was a little difficult to know exactly what to go for. So I wanted to do her outfit first because I really was unsure <laughs> and I gave her the macabre trait because um, I thought it went well with like the bookworm trait because rebel academia and it's like edgy I don't know it just it made sense to me um, and so with rebel academia there's a lot of like dark colors and like chains and stuff <laughs> but it still isn't like a I don't want to say preppy, but like kind of like a preppy or scholarly type aesthetic. And then I moved on to pastel goth and I was really trying to find something <laughs> that I could style that kind of was similar to what she was wearing. And so I wanted to keep boots, skirt, like sweater as like the criteria or just top. <laughs> it got very like difficult to sort of limit myself in that way because these two aesthetics are t so like specific and like not at all close together <laughs> so ultimately i just tried to keep like tights of some kind or stockings or something in that like ex accessory category boots skirt top <laughs> and yeah i just sort of tried to keep that as similar as i possibly could and um i wanted to keep like the whole like hair thing too and of course like accessories like i wanted them to look close <laughs> i don't think i was as like one-to-one -one on this one i don't know i've been saying that a lot but like truly like i think i struggled a little bit <laughs> with like restricting myself in terms of making them have like the same kind of hair but like not the same
because like I'm almost like a ponytail but like her sister has like a like down hair with like clips like it's not quite the same <laughs> like at all so like yeah it's mm, I don't know I really did like learning about the aesthetics though I think that's like some of my favorite things to do <laughs> is to just like make sims based off of these like random aesthetics that I find and I think the problem was that like pastel goth is edgy but like it's like colorful edgy and rebel academia is very like dark <laughs> and not colorful so it was really really hard for me to like balance everything together because they really don't go together <laughs> but I wanted a challenge and so that's why I sort of had to like loosen up the rules a little bit to sort of still fit in um like the aesthetic boxes that I, I made for myself but it was like really challenging <laughs> um like because sure like they both have some kind of edge to them but like pastel goth is like bright you know <laughs> and it was really really hard to like not make it as bright as i could make it if i didn't have that like color limitation but i still really liked the simps like i had a lot of fun exploring <laughs> with like these sims i think their faces came out really really well but also they kind of look like a sim that i made before so <laughs> i'm a little biased but um i went with purple because this is like a bright purple and i feel like that fits into like pastel goth but i did kind of like tone the purple down a little bit for the rebel academia because they don't wear bright colors like <laughs> <laughs> but I still wanted to keep the purple so I used this like coat that has like the purple shirt but it has like a dark like navy coat <laughs> and I think that works for like what I was looking for and that's why like I said I sort of started off by saying like that they're not like a one-to-one -one, like the first time like I think they were a lot closer in terms of like like looking the same clothes wise but I think that was just because the aesthetics were a lot easier to sort of balance for that but these are like very I don't want to say polar opposites <laughs> but like they're not close enough for me to like have the same sort of end result I think But I did like being able to use more like edgy piercings and stuff for the Rebel Academia because of that like edginess <laughs> uh, of the aesthetic. So I could do like the fun like multi piercing earrings and they can both have that same sort of like edge to them just in like different ways. last outfit is like close but also not close <laughs> like I tried to make it like as close as I could in terms of like color and I there was an attempt made for hairstyle too <laughs> but I wanted to use this cool like corset thing because it's like a, a long shirt with like a corset over it and it has like a collar too like it felt right for that aesthetic and so i tried to mimic that with like some like leather pants and like an actual corset corset that's kind of like off the shoulder but has like long sleeves if that makes sense you'll see it in like a second um and so it's like the closest i could get for like a one-to-one -one with their different um aesthetics i think they're it's like the most successful in like my personal opinion <laughs> in terms of like capturing the actual challenge with like these two aesthetics because it like it actually made sense <laughs> it made sense the color was close i even tried to do like 
two updos for like their hairstyles and I kept everything like golds for accessories. There was definitely an attempt made. <laughs> And these screenshots, I think you can kind of see it now that they're like together, that it's like not as close, <laughs> but like, you know, an attempt was made. <laughs> I, I like the second round of outfits, but I definitely think the third round is probably my favorite. 